Okay, it's test time number two. As you can see, I got my MK1 board just kind of hanging there by the JAMA connector, just temporarily while I, while I test this out. Uh, I borrowed the ribbon cable from MK2 and hooked the two together. Got my soundboard out here for easy testing. I'm going to try and see if my camera will cooperate with me and also maybe you'll be able to see how I'm doing this. I'll lower the camera down on the tripod. Angle it. Alright. There's a black wire in that mess there that I'm going to be grounding off of. That's what I'm going to use as my ground. And I'm going to be testing off of the pins on there. Uh, not on the solder side. I'm going to be testing the actual mol like Molex pins or whatever they're called. So, and I'm going to be using a DCV on the multimeter this time. So, let's power this machine on. Okay, so I'll put it on DCV a thousand. I believe I read in the manual if you're not sure what to use, always use the highest. So I'm gonna use a thousand, that's as high as it goes. Turn it on. Okay. Now I found my ground wire. Touching the probe against the ground wire. And let me check the 12 volt connections. Let's see. This is connection P6, uh, pin number 6, the last pin. It should be 12 volts. Now that's showing 13 on the multimeter. Next one also 13 on the multimeter so the both the 12 volts are showing 13 okay let me skip over to the 5 volt uh, that's about fluctuating between 5 and 6 5, 6, it just keeps fluctuating between 5 and 6 So those all appear to be getting power. Um, let me try. Oh my. Looks like one of my wires actually broke. I just took notice where I soldered it, it actually came loose, or the wire actually broke off of the sound pot. Um, this must have just happened today or late last night as I was moving it around. It, because I keep moving this thing in and out and that's what I was worried was going to happen was things are going to come apart and break and everything but I'll solder that back on I'm almost 100% sure that's why uh, well that was hooked up yesterday when I was testing it out so that's not why but I am testing uh, P7 connection 4 right now that is showing 7 volts P7 connection 4. I believe uh, that is the speaker positive, if I'm correct. Uh, I may be wrong. Um, one should be ground. When I test that, I'm getting 7 volts as well, leaving the ground where it is. Now I'm going to move the ground to spot 1 on P7, and I'm going to touch the positive to 4 on P7. And I get nothing. So I'm getting when I when I'm, I don't know if you can see this or not. Uh, not sure what you're looking at, um, but basically what I'm doing is I'm taking the ground, I'm touching against uh, P7 spot number one touching the positive to P7 spot 4 and it'll it, it'll sometimes bounce up to 1 and a negative sign keeps uh, flashing on and off 
Um, so I don't know what that means. If I take the ground probe and I stick it on my uh, male-female connection here, and I touch it to four, I get seven. So not sure what that means. I don't know if uh, maybe my ground's bad here. But that is also a, sp a speaker ground, so I don't know if it should be getting anything or not. Um, let me test uh, the ground from my P6 connection to uh, spot number four on P7. I get seven volts again as well. So it just seems like I'm going to touch the ground on P7 spot one and positive ones P7 spot 4 I don't get anything don't know if that's normal or not it could be because the sound pot isn't hooked up I might uh, recheck that but going from spots 2 and 4 on the board on P5 where the volume pot is I get a negative 4 now I'm touching the uh, red, po red probe against uh, pin number 4 and I'm touching the negative against pin number two with the uh, the key pin in between. So I'm getting a negative four between those two. Um, not sure if I can strip some of this wire off here and just kind of touch it onto the thing to test. Mm. Can try to wrap it around the uh, pin for now, just temporarily, just to get a reading. Okay, now that should be making contact. Red probe is going against P5 pin 4, black probe against uh, P P5 pin 2. I'm still getting negative 5, or yeah, negative 4 at that spot. Turn the uh, volume pot down. Getting negative four still, so that doesn't seem to uh, affect anything there. Um, so yeah, it looks like uh, t 13 volts and 13 volts and 5 volts all along. So the power is getting there, and I am testing off the pins. So. If the pins are getting voltage, then I'm assuming that the uh, solder is good and that the voltage is getting where it needs to be. I'm um, just testing the ground here on P6. I'll ground it and touch red against both of the 12 volts. I get 13, 13, and let me try the 5 volts. I get 5 volts, 6 volts. Fluctuating between 5 and 6 again. So, from my understanding, the board's getting power. Um, this thing is once again slightly warm. This chip here, it's not hot in the least, it's just warm, slightly warm. And this uh, metal bracket is getting slightly warm. Not as warm as this chip, though. Um, let me take the camera off the tripod, I'll just show you how everything hooked up. Got the, uh, I got the red side of the ribbon cable facing the 1 and 2 on here. And I've got the red side down in there facing on the 1 and 2 pin. And I just kind of have it hanging there off the jam harness just for testing purposes. It isn't touching the MK2 board, there is a plastic, like, uh, plastic foot that's uh, resting against the other board there. So they aren't making contact. None of these things are making contact. They're all separated and spread out. So that's uh, what my readings are. Uh, starting to look like maybe this board is toast. I wish I had another good one that I could test it with, but uh, I don't right now. So I'll just uh, send you this message and Await further instructions. Maybe you can tell me some other things to test, or you know, whatever. Um, for the meantime, I guess I will resolder that wire back on this board and make sure that it has a good connection. 
so that way I don't have to worry about it coming loose when I'm testing it later. Alright, thanks for watching.